guys, welcome to another episode of How to Style, and today we are styling this really awesome gray sweatshirt. I'm obsessed with it, so I'm wearing it. I love taking like super casual pieces like joggers and like this kind of sweatshirt and making kind of an outfit out of it. I don't think anyone has requested this, but I just thought I would surprise you because I feel like you want this, you just didn't know you wanted it. <laughs> so that is what I'm styling today. <laughs> Ryan and I have been fighting this rain today on and off, just been <laughs> like the longest shooting day ever. So we already, we only filmed one look as of right now and we still have three more to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like show you guys what we're styling um, while we wait for the rain to pass. Oh, and so I'll just go ahead and show you the sweatshirt. This is what it looks like. Basic gray high neck, which I love. And I'm wearing it with some suede shorts from Zara. Excuse me, a little fluffy pillow. I'll just go ahead and get into the outfit description. The first outfit that I styled with this sweatshirt um, is this little skirt from Forever 21. The skirt is so easy. Like if you guys ever see one of these just like flouncy, shapeless black skirts, grab it. To avoid it looking like a school uniform, because I paired it with some black loafers because I'm obsessed with black loafers. To avoid it looking like a school uniform, I added a bandana, but I did it as like a choker. I didn't do it as an actual tie bandana. I also did my trusty hat because otherwise it, it, it looked like a school uniform. But I love an oversized sweatshirt and a t-shirt with a skirt, but it's very borderline school uniform. So you have to add something a little cooler to it to make it to where it's an actual outfit. So I did a hat and a bandana. Bandana. For my next outfit, I went in the complete opposite direction and I styled a white pleated skirt. What is that on this skirt? I haven't. So this is from Forever 21 and I bought it a while ago knowing that one day I would wear it. I'm wearing it today. This is the first time, actually the second time I've worn this. I just love taking super unexpected girly pieces and adding like a sweatshirt to it because you'll see in the video, it ties together really nicely. It's such a cool kind of effortless street style look. And then I added a boot to it. You will see these throughout winter so much. This is the Cecile boot. I think it's Cecile from Free People. I got these last year but they make them every year, so they have them right now on their website. And like, look at this color. How perfect is this color? I think it's called tobacco. And I don't know, I just thought this is a really nice fall color palette. And it's also taking a skirt that's so summery and so even spring and making it fall, which is interesting. So don't get rid of your summer pieces quite yet. And then my next look is a little bit more menswear inspired um, and can also be worn to the office if you have an office job. Um, I took these kind of menswear inspired high-waisted trousers and I just got these not that long ago. Um, I actually got them last this summer when Zara was having their sale. So they were 70 and I got them for 19. So that was a steal. I haven't worn these yet, obviously, because it's been summer and they're like really thick winter material. I thought this was a really cool way to kind of dress a sweatshirt up. And for the office, you can wear, um, you can do, do a blazer over it to make it a little bit more office appropriate. I added a booty, but you can also do a heel to make it office appropriate. So I did the trousers, the booty. I added a belt just because when things are high waisted, I like to um, accentuate my waist just so you can see that I have a waist. A belt helps, it draws attention and makes you seem a little bit more hourglass shape. And then I added a hat, 90% because it was raining, but also because, um, I don't know, I just thought a hat kind of completed this look. And since um, I was wearing my black boots, I did a black hat on top to kind of even everything out. Um, I thought it was a nice little touch, but definitely if you're not a hat person, go without the hat. And for my last look, I decided to do something super casual. This is good for when you're going to class or if you're just kind of like running around during the day. I did the gray sweatshirt with some green cargos. 
and I am so obsessed with these. I love, I've got like four pairs of green cargos, but these are like my go-to because they're so soft and they just, they like feel like sweatpants even though they're not. I love these and I love green and gray together. So if you're ever kind of wondering what to pair green with, I think gray is like, I love this, this color palette, it's perfect. I added a sneaker. You can do a sandal, you can do whatevs, but you know I love my white sneakers. And you can also do a booty since we're going into fall. If it's a little chilly, do a booty. But do a sneaker instead. Hey, I was doing just fine before I met you. I drank too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Stay. Play that Blink-182 song That we beat to death in Tucson, okay I know it breaks your heart Moved to the city in a broke down car and Boy, it's no clouds And I'm looking pretty in a hotel bar And I, I, I can't stop No, I taking casual pieces and making outfits out of them. This sweatshirt was $9 from H&M and I just made four outfits. And I was, I had seven outfits on my bed laid out trying to decide which ones to show you guys. So definitely get something like this. You will wear it way more than, than you think you will. I'll link this one below. I love it. It's not one of those like, doesn't look like 
like a lounging sweatshirt because it's a little bit more fitted, a little bit more tailored up here and at the bottom. So if you're looking for a good one, I recommend this one. It's super inexpensive. Go check out my lookbook if you haven't already. I'll post the link right here. It is lifebyheart.co slash lookbook and you will find more outfits just like these. It's basically a lookbook for the month. It comes out each month and it gets delivered straight to your inbox with videos of me talking about each outfit. So you don't wanna miss out on that. It's super cool and October's is gonna be so amazing because we're getting into boots and layering, sweaters, and social media handles I will post right here for you to see as well as the lookbook link just in case you wanna click on it. And don't forget to share this video for someone who loves finding old sweatshirty things and making them an outfit. You know, this is definitely some good outfit inspo for that. And it looks like the rain is letting up, so I'm gonna go <laughs> film the rest of this and try not to get soaked in the process. If you see little, like, dark gray dots all over, it's probably just a raindrop, so don't mind me. I will see you in my next video. Bye. The first thing that goes into the blender are the SI packs, and I know that there are many different brands that you can choose from, but this is my favorite. I get the original blend. I've tried the unsweetened blend, and it's just not, I, I, I hate it. <laughs> so I always get the original blend, and they come in little individual packs, just like this. The first thing I'm gonna do is kind of break up the mix, and then, dump it in there and actually buy already frozen bananas but they're kind of expensive so whenever I have bananas that are kind of starting to turn brown I always just kind of chop them up and put them in a bag so I can have them for later. I'm going to add a little bit of frozen banana, a handful of frozen strawberries and you can add um, any kind of frozen berry that you want, or you can even add spinach, you can add any kind of veggie. Then I'm gonna take my almond coconut milk and I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Don't pour too much or else it'll be super slushy. So once it's nice and blended out, I'm just gonna add a couple of scoops of peanut butter because it tastes amazing with peanut butter mixed into it. It just like completely changes the whole thing. If you like peanut butter, if not, you can do Almond butter, you can do cashew butter, whatever butter you prefer. Just testing it out. Okay. Don't forget to lick the spoon. Hi, that's creepy. So I'm just gonna make kind of a bed of granola in my bowl. My mix on top.